بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم نائنتھ اگست ٹوینٹی ٹوینٹی فور برازیل کی ایک لوکل ایئر لائن او پاس لنہاس فلائٹ نمبر ٹوینٹی ٹو ایٹی تھری کو مختلف ویڈیوز میں آسمان سے بیانک انداز میں گرتے ہوئے دیکھا گیا ای ٹی آر سیونٹی ٹو فائیو ہنڈریڈ نامی یہ جہاز ایک برازیلین پسنجر ایئر کرافٹ تھا جو کس کویل سے ساؤتھ پاولو کی جانب جا رہا تھا لیکن لینڈنگ سے چند منٹ پہلے حادثے کا شکار ہو گیا جس میں ففٹی سیون پسنجر فور کریو ممبر کی جان چلی گئی یہ نہ صرف دو ہزار گیارہ کے بعد برازیل کا پہلا خطرناک حادثہ تھا بلکہ برازیل کی ایویشن ہسٹری میں بھی خطرناک مانا جاتا ہے ویڈیو میں دیکھا جا رہا ہے کہ جہاز بہت تیزی سے زمین کی طرف جا رہا ہے ویڈیوز ریلیز ہونے کے بعد ایویشن انڈسٹری سے تعلق رکھنے والوں کے بیچ خوف کی ایک لہر دوڑ چکی ہے حادثے سے چند منٹ پہلے وہاں کیا ہوا جس سے جہاز حادثے کا شکار ہو گیا شنواری ٹیک چینل میں ایک بار پھر آپ لوگوں کو خوش آمدید Welcome back, Daybreakers. The two black boxes, the cockpit voice recorder and the flight data recorder have now been recovered from the turboprop plane that crashed in Brazil, killing everyone on board. Chilling videos show the passenger plane in a free fall from the sky. ABC's Alison Kosick reports. This is the horrific moment a plane carrying 61 passengers and crew plummeted to the ground in Brazil, killing everyone on board. Deus, meu Deus, meu Deus. The two-engine turboprop from local airline Voapass spinning out of control and crashing into a residential neighborhood. Witnesses horrified. This man emotional, saying he was running late and missed the flight. Now grateful to the airport worker who wouldn't let him board. The flight taking off from Cascavel in the Brazilian state of Paraná, bound for the airport in Sao Paulo. Shortly before it was scheduled to come in for a landing, the plane dropping 17,000 feet in just one minute. Usually this sort of thing occurs because the flight crew was not able to maintain or did not maintain enough airspeed. Clearly it was a stall spin. How they got into it is what we don't know. The fiery wreckage, large parts of the plane smoldering in a residential neighborhood, debris littering yards. One person on the ground was injured. Brazilian aviation officials say the aircraft did not communicate any emergency on board. The focus is on examining those black boxes, the cockpit voice recorder and flight data recorder, which will be crucial in the investigation. Alison Kosick, ABC News, New York. And at this time, there is still no confirmation of what led up to that incident. Happened. As you said, it was in Brazil. Uh, so now the uh, plane took off from the city of Cascavel, and it uh, crashed around the city of uh, Velinos near Vinhedo, it's, and also uh, just outside of Sao Paulo, basically. It was making its way towards the international airport in Sao Paulo there. Now, uh, we should say there are a number of videos already circulating on social media. This uh, plane did go down in in a uh, somewhat heavily populated area. Local officials, though, have confirmed that uh, while this did uh, strike a condo building in the area where it went, uh, where it crashed, there were no injuries that were connected to that condo building, and it does appear to be the only building uh, that suffered any damage. Now, this here is uh, the style of airline, uh, or rather of airplane, that uh, crashed today. It's referred to as a regional turboprop plane. So now, obviously, not uh, the the largest commercial airliner, but it was a commercial airliner uh, with the uh, Voipas Airlines. They are uh, quite well known for having a pretty exemplary safety standard. The airline has posted on social media already saying uh, that they don't know what has happened yet or whether there are any survivors, although we have had that since confirmed that there are, are not. Uh, and they say that there were no restrictions or issues with this aircraft prior to takeoff. Now, uh, another way that we were able to get some confirmation around this incident 
president, uh, actually Brazil's president Lula was speaking today and uh, he actually confirmed the news, uh, told everyone what has happened. It was very recent, just really minutes before uh, he spoke to this crowd earlier today. Uh, and while he was doing so, he again confirmed the news, the amount of people who were killed and also asked the crowd to join him in a moment of silence. So we are still, uh, you know, continuing to wait for more details. Uh, you know, these so sort of circumstances take a long time to really get to root causes quite often. But we can imagine investigators are already at the site, if not making their way to the site. Uh, and again, we should say there are a, a number of videos circulating on social media. CBC's uh, News working to verify some of those. Quite dramatic, though, uh, the plane does can be seen coming quite quickly from the sky in a clearly out of control motion. Uh, and then you can see uh, a burst of smoke. And there also is video showing some flames. So we will continue to follow this, Deanna, and bring you any new information as we learn it. Thank you so much, Trisha. I appreciate that.